Welcome back. I'm Sandy Curtis with Berkshire Hathaway Bowen Realty in Hagerstown, Maryland, and today we are discussing taxes when buying or selling a property. So let's get to it. When you're purchasing a property or when you're selling a property, you are going to pay taxes. You're also going to pay property taxes yearly on your property. They do get you coming and going. I have to say that. So what kind of taxes are you going to have to pay? Well, when you are purchasing the property, you need to pay the taxes for the next full year on the property taxes, but you will also need to pay transfer taxes. Transfer taxes can be broken down by city, state, even county, along with federal. I can't just throw a number at you and tell you exactly what those taxes are going to be because it is based on the sales price of your home. Your title company will be able to run those numbers and let you know what the taxes would be. So when you're buying a property, you are paying for one year of property taxes in advance at a minimum, and you possibly will have your property taxes for the following year escrowed into an account so that your taxes are paid out of your loan. But you will also have transfer taxes for your county, city, and or state, along with federal. As a seller, there's one last tax for you, as if you didn't know. Capital gains. When does capital gains come into effect? As of this recording, the capital gains law, as long as you've lived in the home two out of the last five years, any gains you would have made off of the sale is less than $250,000 per individual and $500,000 per couple. You would be exempt from the capital gains. Anything above that, you would have to pay capital gains and capital gains can take quite the chunk out of your sale. So for buyers, you have your yearly property tax and the transfer taxes for the county, state, federal, and or city municipality. For sellers, you have the exact same, but you also could possibly have capital gains. How do you keep from paying capital gains? Well, you do a 1031 tax exchange, and that is a whole nother video. Hopefully one day I'll have it up here where you can see it in the bar top so you can go watch it. I hope this answered the questions you had about taxes and what you would pay as a buyer or a seller when you are purchasing or selling a property. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.